If you are interested in applying for a study permit, there's a couple of key factors that you should consider throughout your application. The first being what your intended studies are in Canada. Your intended studies in Canada should reflect your overall educational goals and be a reasonable choice with respect to your current education. For example, if you've been studying commerce in your home country and wish to study music in Canada, there is obviously a great divide between these two subjects. You would need to be able to demonstrate why you want to study music and why you choose Canada to do so. On the other hand, if you're studying commerce in your home country and you wish to obtain your master's in commerce from Canada or master's in business administration, then Canada would be a reasonable choice and you might be able to argue that Canada offers a better educational system than your home country and it is reasonable to wish to further your education as best possible. The second thing you might want to consider would be your finances. You have to be able to reasonably convince an officer that you have the necessary funds to not only cover your tuition in Canada, but also your living expenses, to ensure that you have enough to take care of yourself while you are here in Canada. If you are also being accompanied by a spouse or dependents with your study permit, you will also want to show that you have the funds to take care of them as well. If an officer is unsatisfied that you will be able to meet these financial requirements, they may refuse your application. If you are being supported by someone financially, like a parent for example, you'll also want to include proof of this in the form of statements as well as a letter from them that will help ease an officer into understanding where your finances come from. If an officer is left with more questions than answers, you may not only delay your application, but it could be refused outright again for this reason as well. The last thing you want to consider is ties to your home country. As you are applying for a temporary document, the study permit, it is incumbent of you to also demonstrate that you will exit Canada at the end of your authorized period of stay. This means that an officer should understand when assessing your application that when your studies are concluded in Canada, it is your intention and ability to exit. This means demonstrating your strong ties to your home country, like property, familial ties, financial ties, and other such significant reasons why one might return to their home country. An officer needs to be satisfied that you will not overstay. And as you well know, overstaying in Canada can have adverse effects on your current status as well as any other future applications. It is highly recommended that you do not overstay wherever possible. I hope this video has been helpful. Feel free to check out some of our other immigration informational videos and feel free to contact us should you have any other questions. Thank you.